I've come today to the Church of St Mary's in Ottery St Mary in Devon. Ottery St Mary is a town uh, about 12 miles northeast of Exeter, a country town, but it has this huge church, sometimes described as a mini Exeter cathedral. And we're going to wander around the outside and see if there's any interesting memorials that we can pick up on. One of the claims to fame here is that Samuel Taylor Coleridge was born in this town. It's a thin claim. His father was a vicar of this church, but he left here at age eight and went to London. So only for the first eight of years of his life was there a connection here. Known, of course, for a number of famous poems, including Kubla Khan and the uh, Ancient Mariner, the sort of poems one had to learn at school. This is Samuel Taylor Coleridge. A tall one here in affectionate remembrance of John Taylor Coleridge. I'm guessing that's the father of Samuel Taylor Coleridge because his father was the vicar of this church. The monument seems appropriate. Nearby is one to an interesting name here, Emma Zipporah Bess. Yeah, that's an unusual name. And a few other interesting names on there. Leah Petronella at the bottom. Beatrice Olive, the surname Bacon. One of the attractive features here is the amount of lichen which is growing on these stones. It gives them a really sort of uh, interesting and uh, coloured and aged appearance, although reading some of the inscriptions is made a little more difficult. A very clear one here to George Godfrey. For 60 years he daily rang the church bells and kept the town clock to time. One here, the second name down, Harold John, son of the above, Harold Franks, who was killed in action in Myinmu, Burma, 1945, age 21. One here to uh, pilot officer RAF, Frank Sidney Roberts, killed on active service, 1940, aged 23. And then his parents beneath. One here, I'm not clear whether it's two people at the top or one with a very long name. Newton James Wallop, William Pollitt, Captain Royal Navy. There's a war grave here. Petty Officer, Royal Navy, S. Heal, HMS Alert, 1945, age 31. There's an area at the back of the church where we have memorial stones. Presumably these were people who were buried elsewhere or cremated, but nicely laid out. You can read the inscriptions.
There's one here uh, mounted on four stone balls. Gives the impression of almost a chest on wheels, but the inscription is very difficult to make out. One here to Henry Calway, MD, DD, First Bishop of St. John, Kafkaria, South Africa. Here's the Farrington uh, grave here with mention at the bottom of Henry Francis Colden Farrington, the seventh baronet, and various Farringtons on other sides. One here to William Emmanuel Pike, Canon and Chancellor of Exeter Cathedral and Vicar of this parish. Interesting names given where we are. There are Coleridge's. Rennell and Gertrude Coleridge. And round this side we've got Derek W.R. Coleridge. So quite likely to be relatives of Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Just interesting what they've done here. Very smooth stone used. And then they put on these plaques, one on each side. Eliza Jane Goodlad of Beaumont in the parish of Ottery. St Mary. And there's a very similar one on the other side to another person. It's just a different sort of memorial. There's one here for the Carter family, listing a number of names as you go down the stone. But the interesting one is probably the one at the bottom here. Francis Bird Carter, Major, 16th Battalion, 4th Infantry Brigade, Australian Imperial Forces, killed at Gallipoli, in April 1915, aged 40 years. Along this wall are more of these memorial stones which seem to be increasingly popular. More modern graves, more modern memorials. One here with the broken column on top indicating a life cut short and it's to the memory of William Salter Ford late of the London Hotel in this town, who died in 1858, aged 36 years. Two very square cut memorials. Uh, these are both to members of the Hill family. And on the same grave in front is William Burrow of this parish, who died in 1806, aged 67. Presumably connected to the the Hill family behind. Don't know whether you can see on this stone, it's very elaborately carved. There's a shield and there's some uh, ferns underneath and there's uh, some detail on the top here. And it's covered with the most beautiful Lichen, although it makes the inscription impossible to read. But uh, a very nice example. Outside of the church is the war memorial. It just recognises those that died in both the wars, uh, but no names on the memorial itself. A very elaborate stone and memorial here. Let's look at the work on this stone the carvings round the top and the sides and the uh, bit in the middle. Unfortunately it's impossible to read it but can still admire the memorial mason's work. And that is Ottery St Mary. Uh, a very pleasant little country churchyard really. Uh, very nicely kept. Grass is all cut. Uh, the stones are covered with the most lovely lichen, um, makes them very photogenic, although sometimes difficult to make out who they belong to, but a, a lovely spot. And so till next time.